In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to draw a city at night using charcoal. I'll be using two-point linear perspective for this drawing, and if you don't yet feel comfortable using two-point perspective, I highly recommend you visit the video that I have linked in the description that shows you step-by-step -step how to draw buildings using two-point linear perspective and provides you with a link to a worksheet that you can practice on. My students, you need to draw five or more buildings correctly using two-point perspective and then add doors, windows, sidewalks, bricks, siding, or anything you can think of to make your city more unique and interesting. Then you're going to carefully trace all of your buildings using a Sharpie marker. I like the fine-tipped ones for this, but you can choose to use the thicker Sharpies if you want to, especially if there are certain areas you want to have a bold line. Use a ruler or triangle as you're drawing your lines to make sure that they are straight and also check with the vanishing point. This is an opportunity to check and correct any mistakes you might have made. Next, locate your light source. You're going to want to have a strong light source, like a moon, on either the top right or left side of your paper. This will make it much easier for you when shading your buildings. Before you begin using charcoal, you need to prepare your workspace by placing a large sheet of scrap paper, like newsprint or newspaper, underneath your drawing. This will also serve as a folder for you to keep your drawing in so that it doesn't smear or smudge against other people's drawings. Now to begin adding charcoal, you're going to want to darken your sky, fading out to the light source. Your light source, the moon, is obviously not going to be as dark around it as everything else. So what I recommend you do is use a charcoal pencil to get right up against your buildings and then use something larger like a stick of charcoal or a charcoal pastel and use that on its side to tone in the rest of your sky. Again, fading out gently towards your light source. You can use your fingers to blend or a blending stick. Next, darken your buildings and begin by darkening the sides of your buildings opposite the light source. So in mine, my light source is on the right side, so I'm blending some of the charcoal from the sky down into the left side of the buildings. When I want to add more darkness, I can go back in using a charcoal stick or pencil to add more darkness. Or if I want it to be a little bit lighter and more subtle, I'll just use a little bit of charcoal left over on my finger from blending and bring that in. As you add charcoal to your buildings, keep in mind that the windows where lights are on would be the lightest parts of your picture. So you can keep that lightness by avoiding those areas altogether or by erasing the charcoal from those areas. And if that doesn't work, add white charcoal on top. White charcoal comes in sticks and pencils as well, so you can use whatever is more preferable to you. The side of your buildings that is closest to your light source will need to have some toning done to it as well, but it's going to be lighter than the side opposite the light source. So again, you can use a charcoal pencil or stick to add some darkness, or you can just blend using your fingers. Again, just keep in mind, you want it to be a different, lighter value on the side of the building closer to the light source, and a darker value on the side of the building furthest from the light source. As I continue my drawing, you can see that for the streets, I've darkened them in significantly, but I've added more darkness to both sides of the streets and let it get a little bit lighter towards the center. I also added more contrast and darkness right against the buildings so that the buildings pop out, and I added some clouds in the sky with some white charcoal. I think it's really helpful to look at some photographs of real cities at night, especially black and white photographs of cities. Use real photos to help inform your decisions on which areas you want to make lighter or darker or in between. The more different values between light and dark that you can have in your image, the more realistic and interesting your city at night will be. 
Now, whenever you're finished working during the class period, my students, you're going to fold up this paper that you've been working on and put your drawing inside of it. You're then going to put your name on the top of that paper so it's like a folder labeled with your name. Any extra charcoal dust needs to be shook carefully into a garbage can and you need to wash your hands very well and wash the table you've been working on. Baby wipes can be very helpful for this.